we're meeting the animals at the regional museums. And this one right here is a garter snake. So garter snakes are very, very common. And you can pretty much tell because of their stripes. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why is she wearing gloves? Well, I'm wearing gloves because this particular snake, although uh, it is a captive snake because of quarantine, um, it can get a little feisty. It doesn't get held a whole lot. And um, probably right now I could take the glove off and it won't try to bite me. And truth be told, it's not gonna be much of a bite. Their, their teeth are very, very small. It's gonna be a scratch. It does itch. So in case you were wondering, that is so that if they were fishing and they were to catch a fish, it's gonna slow that fish down because they're gonna to try to be eating it underwater until they grab it and pull it onto the land. So this particular garter snake really loves earthworms. And oh my gosh, we'll have to take some photos because to see him eat um, earthworms is really like spaghetti. And the first thing I wanna point out is that um, it is a male. We know that because he lives with a female in the off season and they have had babies. Now with garter snakes, the babies are live birth, which means that the mother holds the eggs internally. And then when they're born, there's just a teeny little egg sac and the uh, snakes come out from there. But they don't really get cared for by their mom. When they're little, they're gonna start eating insects. Worms are almost always readily available. And that's probably why this one likes worms so much because um, as a little guy, probably eating a bunch of worms. As a little guy, probably some crickets and other insects. Now, unlike Rose, if you look at this one's eyes, they're much darker. They're shaped similarly, um, as are the scales, not only on the top, but also on the bottom. And he's got a much longer tail, which is kind of typical of males. So his anus is here and he's got a very long tail, but the females do not have as long a tail and that helps during mating. So what else do we wanna know about garter snakes? Well, garter snakes are often found in gardens, but this snake's name is garter, G-A-R-T-E-R. -E and oftentimes people say, oh, it's because um, it resembled garters for socks. I don't know if I believe this, um, but that's how it got its name. So not garden, but garter snake. And this one also likes to eat frogs. Now, typically snakes are going to eat animals from the head forward, but interestingly, it's hard to catch a frog that way. So oftentimes what they'll do is they'll grab the frog from one of their legs. And because of that itchiness, if he were to bite me, it kind of slows that frog down kind of suc succumbs and they could eat the whole thing. And frog legs, unlike mammal legs, are going to bend forward. So it's still gonna be easy for the snake to eat it in one piece. Snakes have a little hinge right there and that hinge will unhinge when a snake eats something bigger than its mouth. And their neck skin is very, very flexible. So this is our garter snake. Again, it's a male and maybe we'll meet him again someday, but uh, that's about all he wants to tolerate today. So thank you very much.